welcome again to Minecraft Dad with me, Paul McJay, and a new command block tutorial. Well, sorry, it's been a while since my last Minecraft busy, uh, video. I've been busy on lots of different projects, Lego projects, and uh, also uh, guitar kind of projects, but um, I'll have a lot more Minecraft content for you shortly. Now, today we are building a drone in uh, Minecraft. Uh, it's a cool little system. Um, and it uses uh, your natural movements to control the drone. So let's get into it. Uh, to move, in order to make this work, we're going to uh, select our solar lantern. And the camera is just going to pan to the drone. Now we can move uh, up, down, left, right, forwards, and backwards. And we can also pan the camera as well with our movement of the player. So we're going to go left, we're going to go right, uh, and we're going to go right, we're going to go backwards, and we're also going to move forwards. As you can see my player is only slightly moving. See it now, if we move my head of the player, see it, we can pan the camera around on the draw as well pretty natural uh, way of moving the drone, which is quite cool. This is why I like this system so much. It's quite a little bit of a joyride. So as you can see, it moves quite quickly actually. Uh, I'm just going to go back to one of my, just past one of my previous builds. And um, we can go out quite far in it. So I'm just going to go uh, quite far forward now. See if we look around my player is still in the same position as it is all the way over there. Alright let's return back. Now if you just want to exit your drone you just get rid of your soul lantern. Just move out off the soul lantern and return back. Uh, the camera will just return back to the player. As you can see my drone is way up in the sky so um, I don't want it there for the video, so we're just going to go back in and we're just going to sneak and move back down. So this video is going to be in two parts. Um, this first part of the video I'm just going to show you, uh, just going to show you how to build the drone and the second part of the video is going to be the movement. But first of all we need to go into our settings and put the following things in. Now one of the main things is, is that we're going to need uh, experimental cameras running. Uh, this won't work without this on. And we're also going to need activate sheets. And we're also going to need uh, command blocks enabled. We're also going to need a command block. So if you don't know how to do this, put this command into your command prompt screen. So give a player command underscore block. I also going to need the other these uh, uh, this command on as well. So forward slash game rule command block and put false and also this command forward slash game rule send command feedback false. So all the commands running on your screen should not um, appear in the left hand side of the screen now. So before we start I'm just going to switch all these uh, sections of commands off. So now so you see we've got various different armor stands with stable sorts of different positions and we've got a bat called room. <laughs> I'm just going to get rid of all these. I'll just leave our little back control in here. So key to this making uh, this work is everything's going to be built on top of this bat called drone. So if you don't know how to get a bat, so we're just going to summon a bat. So just use a summon command. Now as you can see that the bat is running around, we want to keep him still. So I'm just going to label him, okay, there we are, name it back. Now he's staying 
he's hovering on the spot like the other one. So I'm just going to show you how to do this now. Let's get rid of him. We don't want, we don't need to. So we need a repeating command block. Set to always active. And we need to put the following command in to execute as entity name equals drawn type bat at self run teleport at self. So basically it's, it's telling the bat uh, to teleport to itself essentially and then we need to put this second command in uh, and, uh, always repeating as well always active so execute identity name equal drawn control equal one at rotated at uh, has item equals location slot weapon main hand soul lantern run teleport at self facing <laughs> It's a long command. Basically, what that's doing is, is telling the, the back code drone uh, to copy the movement of the player. Now, these are going to be our uh, camera commands. So, we need a repeat block, always active. So, a very similar command, but execute um, a control in the drone rotated. Just, just copy this all down. Uh, essentially, what this is doing is telling the camera um, to have the same movement as the drone essentially just copy that in it'll work <laughs> uh, chain commands are always active coming off to that so this is essentially um, setting the free ease camera so this sets the camera uh, up and this last command essentially clears the camera so it's a repeat always active so when you're not holding uh, the solar lantern in your indomain weapon hand uh, it's going to clear the camera so I'll just show you now so we've got the solar lantern we go into the bat control and then when we're not holding the solar lantern when we are returning back to the player so we're now going to make the actual um, drone. So I'm going to put a repeat command down. I'm going to leave that uh, as needs rest at the moment. So it's going to be an execute command at nt uh, name equals drone run teleport at nt name equals head uh, a carrot a carrot and a uh, position and another carrot on the way so essentially I'm going to put an armor stand down I'm going to name it head I'm going to put a skeleton skull there and if I just stick this on always active now it's going to teleport that armor stand 1.3 blocks above And I'm going to put this command on now. So effect add entity name equals draw invisibility one run true. So we made the bat visible for drone, and we made the armor standing visible as well. Now, it's not very interesting by itself, we need some extra bits on here, so we're going to have arms coming off it, holding diamond swords. So we'll need another few arm stands. So I'm just going to show you the new one now, so we're going to put a diamond sword on it, and position it. Yeah, that's a good position, so it's facing that way. So similar sort of commands here, so execute at a T. Always active. Visibility. This is going to be arm two. Arm three and arm four. Let's just do this quickly. Arm one. I'm just 
going to switch arm tool on. Arm three. And arm four. So I'll switch these on the ball to always active. So I'm going to put another arm and stand down. I'm going to face it this way. And we'll put the, so the side and sword in the same sort of sideways position. And if we name this arm 2 now, it should move up to there. Let's put this one at this angle. Another diamond sword in there. And pull that arm 3. And we'll do one more. Face in this direction and do a similar thing again. Call that up. Oh. So that's our drone built. All we'd have to do now is program the movement in. Right, so now I'm going to show you how movement works. Uh, so we're going to put a, a repeating command block down. And it's going to be set to uh, always active. Now, what this basically does, if you're holding a soul lantern and you, it doesn't detect a armor stand core control, it's going to summon an armor stand core control. Now, this will all make sense in a moment. So, I'm just going to turn this top one off. So, the visibility command. Well, we'll just go into our drone. Let's move a bit. Now, as you can see, there's an armor stand called Control um, spawn next to my player. So this basically, uh, when we when we move in, is teleporting the my play, the player back to. The armor stand, so it's just essentially it's stopping the player moving when the drone is moving. I know it sounds complicated, um, just if you just copy the commands as exactly as they are and they'll, they'll work. I'll just briefly explain um, how it's working as, a, as I call for each set of these commands. So I'll just turn this back, uh, back on. But I'll just show that again. So this is essentially, uh, as I said, it's going to spawn a armor stand or control. Now this one uh, is another repeat box set to always active. So if it's well, if it's detecting an armor stand or control, it, it's basically teleporting the player back. Um, the armor stand back to the player. Now this is the invisibility one. It just turns that control uh, armor stand to invisible. Now these commands are essentially when you're not holding the soul lantern are going to kill the control uh, armor stand. Got this one. And this one. Trust me, this will all make sense in a moment. I don't <laughs> just trust me. <laughs> right, now we're gonna get into the movement. So this first set uh, of command blocks here it is going to be our forward movement and we're going to have sideways and up and down. So this is uh, moving forward. The 
first of all we're going to put uh, a repeat fan, fan block down to always active so this first command is basically just going to detect when you're holding a uh, soul lantern if it detects any movement uh, forward it's going to move the drone forward that's simply essentially what it does Now this chain uh, command set it always active. So essentially, this is going to this detecting movement forward. It's going to teleport um, the player. Well, have the armor stand back to the player. Uh, it's gonna, that's going to stop the player moving. And this one is just an extra uh, camera command. Uh, camera camera commands are a bit still a bit glitchy in Minecraft so this just makes it uh, essentially smoother when it's moving forward you don't have to have it but I think it makes an improvement so these next sets of commands are sideways left and right so this one is left so essentially if, if you're it's going to detect if it's movement left, it's going to move the drone left. And there's chain command here too. If it's detecting movement left, it's going to teleport the uh, player, it's going to teleport the player back to the, uh, the Armistand core control. Now this is sideways right. calls again set to repeat and it was active um, exactly the same command but as if you notice the uh, plus values are now minus values so if it detects any movement to the right it's going to move the drone right so this next set is backwards very similar again to the forward command except this is a negative value rather than a plus value so if it detects movement backwards, it's going to move the drone backwards. And the chain command again, and as I said, it's going to, if it detects move backwards motion, it's going to teleport. And this is up. Similar again, if it's detecting, uh, you jump in. So, so basically movement upwards. It's going to move the drone upwards. And then the chain command with the corresponding teleport command. Now this one is quite different. Because um, to go down, we only did it, need to detect uh, the player sneak in. So, so this is a bit easier to run in. So essentially if it's detecting um, the player sneak in, it's going to move the drone down. So let's have another quick test of this. So let's get our soul lantern. And we'll move up. So we'll move up by jumping. Move the pan left, and right, and around. Of course, we can move forward. Right, so that's it for this video. I hope this made sense to you. Uh, if you're confused in any way, um, drop me some comments. <laughs> um, so that's it for now. I'll see you again in the next video, um, which should be um, uh, an actual three-part video for a change. So um, more news on that will follow. So ciao for now, and I'll see you next time. Bye.